Hey everybody, welcome to this week's art lesson. It's based on a book called A Hat for Minerva Louise. The supplies that you'll need for this uh, art project are paper, sharpie, and then you can choose if you would like to use crayons or markers. If you have both, it's kind of fun to use both, but it's really up to you and whatever you have available at home. So our goals for this project are to observe and draw. We're going to be observing the book and the hat that um, is from the book, and then we're going to try our hand at drawing it. Then we will design a winter hat of our own, and we'll use pattern, line, and shape to do it. We're going to start off with a story. It's called A Hat for Minerva Louise. A Hat for Minerva Louise. Minerva Louise loved snowy mornings. Her friends didn't like them one bit. They stayed inside all day with their heads tucked under their wings. Not Minerva Louise. She couldn't wait to go out exploring. Everything was so beautiful. She wanted to stay out all day, but it was too cold. If I had some warm things like you, she said to the scarecrow, I could stay out and play. A scarf might help, she thought. Oof, but not this one. It's way too big. And these shoes are too big, too. A hat. That's just what I need. There must be a hat around here somewhere. Minerva Louise looked outside. Everyone had on a fluffy white hat. Oh, your hat is wonderful, she said to the snowman. Where did you get it? Oh, look, what's over here? A hat? It's perfect. But what's this? <gasps> oh, it's two hats. Which was just fine with Minerva Louise. The end. All right. Kind of a silly story, but a good one for our lesson today. All right. So we are going to get to, oops, we are going to get to uh, watch how we draw our own hats for Minerva Louise. So we are going to get to make our own hat in our own style and you'll get to kind of follow along and draw as the video goes. Now if you need an extra minute Press pause on the video and take your time to do your best work. Don't feel like you have to hurry through just because the video is going. Um, make sure you use that pause button if you need it. Hello everybody. Today we will be drawing a hat for Minerva Louise. For this project, you will need a piece of paper, a black marker, and crayons and or markers. Our goal is to design a winter hat using line, shape, and pattern. Let's get started. The first line you're going to draw is a rainbow shape or half an oval. Next, let's connect those two lines with a slightly curved line. Two straight down lines and another slightly curved line to connect. It's starting to look like a hat. Next we are going to be drawing Minerva Louise. So I'm going to draw a slightly wavy line down. So just a line with a little wave in it all the way down to the edge of the paper. Let's draw Minerva Louise's beak, a straight line across, connected with a V, an upside down triangle. 
Under the brim of her hat, let's draw her two eyes. Two small circles. Now that we have drawn those two little circles, we're going to draw even smaller circles in each eye. And then color around the smallest circle. So fill in those eyes. All right, next up, we are going to decorate and design Minerva Louise hat. This is the time where you can get really creative using your patterns and lines and shapes to design and decorate your very own hat. Let me show you what I did. I am using the lines that we sometimes use to create clouds for the puffball on top of a hat. Next, I'm going to start off with using some different lines. So I might start off with a zigzag line, then a wavy line, and then a dashed line. You may choose to do whatever you wish to design your hat, but I find starting with lines is a good place to start. Next, I'm going to be adding patterns, shapes, and objects between the spaces of my lines. How I design my hat can show a little of my personality. I want to see a little of your personality too in how you decorate your hat. Here I have drawn snowflakes, a cup of hot cocoa, snowman, an ice skate, all things that I like about winter. Now it's time to color. Grab your markers, your crayons, or your colored pencils and color in your Minerva Louise. Fill up all those white spaces and don't forget about your background. Happy coloring. Have fun. Okay, artists. Hello, everybody. Now. Hello, everybody. No, 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 Today we will be that. drawing a... We're already done with that. There we go. All right, so that should be it for you. Hello, you should be all done with um, your art. And when you are done... Um, you're going to need to make sure that you turn it in um, by uploading a video to Google Classroom. So if you already know how to do that, just go ahead and take a picture and move along. You do not have to watch this video. If you uh, don't know how to upload a video, uh, please make sure that you watch this video. You'll probably need your parents to use their phone or an iPad um, and then you can uh, use that to upload to uh, Google Classroom. So here's a video if you need it. If you're done, you'll turn this off and just go and do it. I'm going to show you how you can take a photo from your phone or tablet and send it as an assignment to your Google Classroom. I'm going to start by checking my Google Classroom and I see that there is an assignment due, math homework, due on April 1st, 2020. And if I click on it, it has the directions. Please answer the following question. Show your work. Billy has three apples and Sarah ate two of them. How many apples does Billy have left? So here I have completed the work and I'm going to take my phone and take a picture of that paper. Now I want to focus on the Your Work box. It's located up here in the top right corner and you have a plus button where you can add or create your work and then mark as done. That's where you are submitting it to your teacher. So I want to click the Add or Create button and I have that file, that photo that I took, whether it's on my phone or here in the computer, and I'm going to click File. Now, I want to select files from my device, and if you're on your phone, you're just going to click the Photos app. Let's say this file right here is the photo that I just took. I click on it, hit Open, then click Upload. You'll see that 
up here in that top right, that image is now processing. You have the bar going and now it's done. I then want to click the turn in button. It says turn in your work. One attachment will be submitted for the homework assignment. I click turn in again. And now my assignment is completed by just sending in a photo to my teacher. And it says right here, unsubmit. So say by accident, I clicked the wrong picture and I wanted to do a different one. Just click unsubmit and then you do the whole process over again. And that's pretty much it. So 